Hey guys, this is Enphase from Enphase.com and today I'm going to be looking at games on the i8910. So the first games that I'm going to look at are games from Gameloft HD. So they range in prices from about a dollar to about five dollars. So these are pretty interesting apps. So the first application that I'm going to cover is uh, the cheapest application I've got here. It's called uh, Block Breaker 2. So I'm just going to start it. It costs only 99 cents at the Gameloft store. So, you know, it's pretty cheap. So it's a basic Block Breaker game. So, you know, just with really nice graphics. So I'm just going to try and play it here. Um, as I'm filming the video just to give you like a view of how cool it is so I got my shield on so I can afford to do other things yeah. yeah but you get the general idea it's a very cool game you know pretty good graphics uh, similar to that uh, same level of graphics that you get on the Apple iPhone Okay, so the next game that I'm going to demo is Spider-Man Toxic City HD. So it's again another game from uh, Gameloft HD. Alright, so this is the basic startup screen. So I'm just going to continue a game here. See if it uh, loads up. So, you know, this is basically a, a scroll game. You know, much like arcade games. So, you know, you've got this, this kind of setting. It's pretty nice. Controls are pretty simple. Um, you can, of course, skip all this stuff. Uh, you know, very easily controllable. So, okay, the game has begun. So I'll just walk around here. It's got some pretty neat moves. So, you know, I'm not playing as well as I usually do because, uh, because I'm filming. But, you know, it's really easy to play. It gets more difficult the further you go down. Uh, this game will cost you about four dollars at uh, Gameloft HD store, so you know it's something. Uh, it's quite a little investment, but you know that's the kind of pricing that you expect from uh, you know similar iPhone games, which is quite nice. So this game has one of uh, the nicer graphics, uh, as you can see. It's one of the HD games, so I'll just switch the sound on here. So see if I can continue a game. So, you know, again, it has really nice graphics. Uh, these HD games are pretty good. And, you know, that's why I have so many of them. But, you know, it's a pity they're not, they're not free. Uh, you know, you got pretty good frame rate and, you know, pretty interesting game. Nice sound effects and everything. Um, yeah, so this is just a short demonstration of what you should expect in the game. Uh, just made a little error there. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you get the idea of the game. You know, it's a little bit of a puzzle sort of game. You gotta do a couple of, uh, complete a couple of puzzles, you know, solve a couple of things. So, you know, it's a really nice little interesting game uh, for you on the Omni HD. So as I was searching for interesting games for the Omni HD, I bumped on a certain South African company that builds some really really interesting uh some really interesting games so this is the first one that i'm gonna play here it's called um yeah it's from barking seed so it's got really really funky animation and it's really 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 cool from break design studios so i'm gonna skip this it's called dawn of the fly so it's it's a free game as well which is really awesome so i'll have links for that on how to download so i'll just give you a little demo uh it, the graphics are really really smooth and you know it's a really simple and quite addictive game so all you have to do is eat the the little green flies as they pass by by selecting either the middle button the top button or the the lower button and you have to avoid the the red flies so you have to keep this um, the gauge on the side um, high so that you don't die so I'm just gonna okay through the camera I cannot really see what I'm doing uh, okay so I mean you can see it's it's really really uh, quite a lot of fun and um, you should really really try this out this is dawn of the fly from break designs 
So another game from the same studio is called uh, Ninjani, Ninjani or something. Um, again from Break Design. A really cool uh, game, uh, and the object of the game is to strike uh, uh, certain your enemies, your opponents, using the the touch screen, like throw darts at them. Or so it's it's a really cool game. I'm just gonna show you a little demo of it. So I I just like the funky graphics that they work with here. You know they're really really cool, and the sound is really cool as well. So. You know, all you have to do is just tap uh, at the point where the ninja is located and, you know, you see a bit of blood splatter. And if you don't hit the ninja in time, then you get to, you die, pretty much. He strikes you with his um, own. So, it, it, again, it's an interesting game. Very, very interesting. You know, very, very simple. Graphics are really good. Um, these guys did a really great job. I'm working on their graphics and visuals. It's it's a really nice game. You should check it out. And it's free again from Break Design. Okay, so the next application that I'm going to talk about, uh, that I'm going to show you, is that Roach game, South Africa. So the thing about this game is that it's lo it's locked in the landscape orientation. So you have to um, switch it from landscape to portrait so you can play it. But for phones like the 5800 and the Omni HD you have to get a virtual keyboard so this is the virtual keyboard that I use I'm going to give you um, uh, links on how to download that so you launch the virtual keyboard first and then you launch the game and then you select this menu option and then rotate display so after you've rotated it um, it goes into full screen portrait so the objective of this game is just to squash some roaches. Uh, that's that's basically what it what it is about. So if you if you're following the World Cup, this these should be some familiar locations, Cape Town, stuff like that, uh, or maybe not. But so it's it's a really simple game. Uh, again, I like the graphics. It also uses haptic feedback, so. You can feel the vibrations each time a roach escapes and each time you squash a roach. So, you know, it's it's really cool. And it starts off really simple, you know, just a couple of roaches. So, as you can see, things get a little out of hand and out of control. Um, you know, of course, I'm filming, so it's, it's, you know, that much harder to see what I'm doing through the camera. But, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, but you get the point. It's a really, really awesome game again it's free for you to download and I've got links for that in the description um, it's got awesome graphics it makes asphalt um, look really really bad um, as you can see the graphics are really smooth you can really you know move the car and stuff and I'm just gonna show you a, a small demo of you know how how good it looks I mean compared to to the the default game Asphalt 4 which is supplied with this device um, this is a much better more polished game and you know it really shows the graphical potential of the Samsung Omnia HD so um, you can choose to either use the accelerometer or uh, the on-screen controls so I prefer to use the on-screen controls because it's it's simpler course that's not all that apparent as I'm playing but yeah it's it's a little difficult when filming but you know otherwise it's it's a lot of fun um, more fun than I had with asphalt uh, it's a simpler gameplay but it's just so much better you know the graphics are really really nice and it's really really awesome so check it out this is uh, Rally Master Pro Okay, with another app series, this has been in phase from InPhase.com. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to visit my website InPhase.com for more. Alright, cheers.